uh, uh, and how great he took he break down the images. In other words, he destroyed all those images and he cut down the groves. And the reason he cut down the groves is, see, groves are, 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 are areas of tree and brush and everything. What, what Asa wanted to do here is he wanted to make an area where they would be able to see. You remember the Bible said, white as well as pray? So what Asa did here when he cut down the road is he actually made an area around the city where they could do some things that they could watch for the enemy. Amen. Because Asa knew that they were coming. Amen. And now verse 4 it said, and commanded what? Judah to seek the Lord God of their fathers. And to do the law and the commandment. Those people that are around us that we work with, that we, our kin folks, our brothers, our sisters, one thing that we ought to do as children of God is to is to show them what it means to worship God and to worship Him in a in the right kind of way. And sometimes what it entails is teaching others and doing the things around others that will entail them to worship God. Asa here did the right thing. What he did was not only did Asa worship God, but he also took away those things that would pull those men away from him and to pull them back to God. Amen. That's why he took away all the images that was around him. And then in verse 5 it says, and he also took what? He took away out of all the cities of Judah the high places and the images How? and the kingdom was quiet before him. Mm -hmm. And verse 6. And he built fenced cities in Judah for the land had rest. And he had no war in those years because the Lord had given him rest. He engulfed himself. Uh, he built a wall around the city. He built a fence around the city. How many times have you drove down the street and you saw fences around houses? Mm -hmm. Those fences around houses are for a reason. Uh, Amen. When you put a fence around your house, what you're doing is you're protecting your house. And so what Asa did is he put a fence around the city. He put walls around the city. He put a gate where in you know, all the only way that you get into the city was through the gate. Amen. And when we see the walls and things and the gates around our homes and things, the only way to get into those are through those gates that he had, that, that was set there. So and then in verse 7 he said, Therefore, he said unto Judah, Let mm -hmm. us build these cities and make about them walls and towers, gates and bars, while the land is yet before us, because we have sought the Lord our God, we have sought him, and he has given us rest on every side. So they built and prospered. Now, what verse 8? And Asa had an army of men that bear targets and spears out of Judah, 300,000, and out of Benjamin that bear shields and drew bowls 200 and four score thousand. All of these were mighty men of Baal. Yeah, these were mighty men. These were fighting men. But Asa recognized something in the very next verse. Uh, in the very next verse, he said, and Asa had what? And they came out mm -hmm. against the against Zerah, the Ethiopian, with a host of thousand, 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 and three thousand chariots, and came unto uh-huh. Asa, oh, Asa recognized here something here. All these men that hate Asa had, uh, Asa recognized that he didn't have enough men to do what he needed to do when he looked back and he saw what the enemies had. I, I remember when, when we were, when I was in the military and, and uh, when I was in, in Vietnam, when we went out on the field in the field to do an operation out in the field, we could call in if we got overpowered or we saw we were overpowered, we could call in reinforcement. And, then, and many times those reinforcements would be in the form of, of, of uh, bombs or, or whatever, uh, or artillery pieces. Asa here had no reinforcement, but he did have one thing that the enemy did not have. He had power of God on his side. Mm -hmm. My brother and sister, don't worry about the enemy that's coming against you when you got God on your side. Mm -hmm. Because if God be for you, who can be against you? If God is for you, he's more than what can be against you. Amen. And Asa recognized that then that's why he went to God in prayer. And sometimes when, when, when we get to the point where we are overpowered, we feel like we are overpowered, we need to remember 
that God is still God and he's God all by himself. We still, we still have power over the enemy. We still have power over Satan if we know how, if we have prayer power. Now, but we have to be in a situation where we can call on the Lord. Amen. Ezra uh -huh. was in a situation where he could call on God and he believed that God would, would bring him through it because Ezra had saw what God could do in the, in, in the 13th chapter of 2nd Chronicles. Because he knew that God could bring him through it. Because in, in, four, in verse number 14, in, in chapter 14, he said, uh, in, in verse number 2, and he said, And Asa did that which was right in the Lord. Amen. When you do that which is right in the Lord, don't worry about the enemy that's on the outside. Amen. Because you have power on the inside. Amen. Amen. So, in the next verse, he said, And Asa what? Well, not against him. Mm -hmm. They set the valley of Ray in the valley of uh, Zephyr. Uh huh. Zephyr. That, that goes to him. In, in Mershaw. Mm -hmm. And Asa cried unto the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, mm -hmm. whether with many or mm -hmm. with them that have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee, and in thy name we go against this multitude. O Lord, O Lord, thou art God. Let no man prevail against thee. Okay. Let the Lord fight the battle. Amen. But you have to be in a situation, amen, where you have some prayer power that you can pray to the Lord. And you have to believe that God will fight the battle. He says to him, he said, And Asa cried unto the Lord, his God, and said, Lord, it ain't nothing, it is nothing with him to with thee to help. Whether with many, he said, I don't care how many it is against me. Right. Or whether I'm feeble. Amen. Or I'm just a few. Or I'm a weak person. Amen. And I find the God, children of God, I'm not weak. Amen. We got power. Amen. And we can use that power against our enemy instead of go, going out and trying to do it ourselves. And many times, my brother and sister, what we do, the reason God don't, don't do more of us is that when we get in a situation, we try to fix it ourselves. Amen. And every time we try to fix it ourselves, we mess it up. Amen. And when you mess it up, ain't no use to come to God and ask God to fix it. Because you already tried to fix it yourself. And if you could fix it yourself, why well, ask God to do it? Amen. Asa recognized that he needed God to get through this battle because when he looked back and he saw thousands upon thousands of men coming at him and he had no way, amen, to defeat them, amen, he knew that he had to have something that was powerful than he was. And because of that, amen, because of the power that Asa possessed, and because of the power that we can possess, we have power to do whatever we need to do as far as the enemy is concerned. Amen. God, let me, God amen, in, in his heavenly form, in us, mm -hmm. amen. Do you not know that we are, are here to belong to God? Mm -hmm. Amen. And if we belong to God, should not we act like it? Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to fix things ourselves, mm -hmm. and we went out there and we could have went to war, Amen. Mm -hmm. With these men, with what he had, amen, mm -hmm. with our God, and Asa would have got the stroke. Mm -hmm. Amen. But Asa realized that he needed God. Mm -hmm. That's why he prayed. Prayed to God. He said he cried to God. Amen. Unto God and said, Lord, it is nothing. He said, it don't mean nothing. Amen. Whether with many, whether I whether these men are many. Or whether you with me, he said, but take care of me. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then next verse, so the Lord what? And the Lord smote, I'm sorry, the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. Mm -hmm. Great. And Asa and the people that were with him pursued them and took Gore, and the Ethiopians were overthrown, that they, that they could not recover themselves. But they were destroyed before the Lord and before his host, and they carried away very much spoil. Now you see that? What the Ethiopian what the Ethiopian had, God gave it to those men that was, that he that, that he wanted to have it. Amen? Amen. Amen. My brothers 
sister, here's the conclusion to the whole matter. God, if we are true Christians and we believe we are, amen, let's allow God to fight the battle that we go through from day to day. Let's allow God to take care of us like he should. Amen. Right. And instead of trying to fight the battle that we're going through sometimes by ourselves, turn it over to God. Let God handle it. Amen. And God will handle it in due time. Amen. Amen. Now, he don't work on the same terms we work on. Amen. Because we have a testimony of everything done right now, right there, yesterday. Amen. But God don't work that way. Amen. Amen. In this part, in this instance, God took care of what Asa could not take care of because Asa believed in God. God will take care of what we need to take care of because we believe in God. Believe, uh, believe in God and allow Him to take care of everything that we are going through in life. That's why in, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and you lean not to all the path. They say, In all thy way, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct our path. We allow God to direct our path. There is not a war out there. There's nothing Satan can do to us uh, to destroy us uh, unless God allows him to do it. God, Satan can't do nothing to us unless God allows him. Mm -hmm. Amen? He can't do it. Amen? That's why I don't worry about the day-to-day -day things. I don't worry about the enemy coming against me. Because I know if they, if they come against me, they win. It's all in God's plan. Mm -hmm. Amen? That God might be glorified. Word, Amen? You don't worry about it. Amen. You let everything fall into the place and trust God, just like Asa did. And mm -hmm. that's, that's the lesson for this evening. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you a story about a father that had a mm -hmm. son. And only begot the son. Now I know if, 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 if it was me, and, and I if it was my only begotten son, and, they, and I knew that my only begotten son was the one that could save the world. Amen. I don't know what I'll be in that position. But the father had a son by the name of Jesus the Christ that came down to 42 generations, walked on the earth for 33 long years, did nothing but good to boy all men. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He fed the hungry. But that wasn't enough. Mm. One day, they marched him to the judgment hall, the judgment hall. And they crucified him out there on Calvary. And they pierced him in the side. And when they pierced him in the side, two things came out. Blood and water. Water for the mission of sin and blood for all this church. Amen. That's why it's only one. That's why I told that young man this morning, I want to talk to you about the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I don't believe I don't believe that when a person comes into this church looking for a church home, it's by coincidence. Amen. Because I don't believe God works by coincidence. Nope. I believe that when a person comes looking for a church home and he said, Well, I just stopped by to see what we're going. I believe that's not coincidence. I believe that that the premise of God. Amen. 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 I, that's what I believe. But when Christ died, he died for his church. Amen. And when he's coming back, he's coming back for his church. Not this, this building. Amen. Because Christ didn't care less about this building. Amen. Amen. But he's coming back for us. Because we are the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's what he's coming back for. And, and, and then when we, we must obey the gospel, which is the death, the burial, and resurrection of Christ, we too must die just like Christ died. We too must be buried. Just like he was buried in the grave, we must be buried in the water grave baptism. That's our burial. Mm -hmm. Then he rose on the third day with all power. We must rise to but we rise as new creatures in Christ. Amen. Amen. And then God adds us to his church. He adds us to his body. He adds us and we become part of his body. Amen. 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 And there might be somebody here today that need prayer for yourself, for a loved one, or you just want to want to make it known that what God has done to you. Amen. If it is, now your time to make those uh, requests.